Uh, other systems are going to be a pressure system. So you're going to have uh, smaller pipe uh, in these systems. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but a conventional system or that pump and dump uh, engineered system is going to have a uh, four inch uh, perforated pipe. So it's four inch pipe with uh, the holes on both sides going out on a 45 degree angle on the bottom. Uh, the pressure system is usually going to have uh, between a three quarter inch to an inch and a quarter uh, pipe. Uh, in, and this is out in, in the actual drain field in the stone. Um, the pipe coming off the pump may be an inch and a half to two inches, uh, depending on the uh, pump requirements. But so the pump's going to push that water out. There's going to be holes drilled in those smaller pipes that are in the stone, uh, and they're usually set on a 45 degree angle. Um, and it's all, you know, each engineered system may have different requirements, but it's all spelled out in the engineering, um, which is obviously why it gets that name, engineered system. Um, typically a, a sanitary engineer is going to uh, design that system. So there's a little bit uh, more of an expense with the design process of an engineered system, um, and uh, it may take a little bit more time to get uh, started on the installation because there's that that uh, that design has to be created before it can before it can be uh, installed. So, but the 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 number of holes needed and the spacing will all be uh, uh, that all that information will be in the blueprints for the engineering. And uh, so the what's really important about this type of system, a pressure system, is that you you're always going to get perfect distribution through. Uh, the system because it's it's pressurized when that pump kicks on it's going to push water through filling every single bit of pipe that's out in the drain field uh, because it's pushing water faster into the pipe than it can get out through those small uh, holes that are drilled into the um, into those pipes so it's completely pressurized being a pressurized system uh, and so you get perfect distribution through the entire uh, drain field and that that is that's it's the only way that you can really guarantee complete distribution and use of the entire system uh, is with a pressurized system